Hi, my name is Philippe Posil. I'm a developer advocate at Celsius, and today we're going to take a look at custom lighting types and how they enable us to customize the appearance of agent conversations. So for the, today's demo, we have an air travel assistant topic here, which helps us find flights based on a custom Apex action. So if I ask it to help me find flights, I will send my prompt here and we'll get a basic form back. Now, if we take a look at the uh, action configuration, you can see that we are expecting a number of inputs, the date of travel, destination city, the origin, and some filters. And by default, all the information is coming from default types, such as, for example, this filter type, and we'll see that the output is also using the default apex type, the available flights. Now let's fill it up and see what it looks like. Let's say you wanna move from Paris to San Francisco and we wanna to leave tomorrow. If I submit this, we're gonna see the default output, which is not very nice in terms of format. So that's what you get with the default settings. You could tweak this thing here by uh, adding some topic instructions, but we can do actually way better by editing our action and using something called custom lighting types. I already uploaded those types now, so I'm just going to show you the final output and then we'll take a look at how this is configured. So I'm back in my action configuration and what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to toggle the input rendering and the output rendering to use those custom types. I have a custom lighting type called Fight Filter, which maps to a custom lighting mode component. And I also have one for the available flights, which is called Flight Response. And this also maps to a different lightning web component. So I'm saving my action. Let me close this window and now let me refresh this page with my agent conversation. We're going to have the same prompt for my agent. And we're going to see the response now once we have the custom lighting types enabled. So the first thing you'll notice now for the first input is that we now have a custom lighting web component in this zone. There's an accordion and we have some sliders for the um, default filters. Now, if I submit my inputs, origin city, destination city, and date of travel, I can already see something different as well in the output. So instead of having this flat list, we now have a nicely formatted list of all of our available flights with our discount, all the details and everything. This may look familiar to some of the things you have in Lightning Experience, for example, when you see record cards, well, that's because these are Lightning types. With Lightning types, you can override the input and output of your agent conversations. Not only can you do that, but you can already see some default formatting that you can put in place, some also custom validation in there, and you can make those outputs nicely formatted and actionable. So for example, if I click here, I can book my flights directly from the agent conversation instead of having to ask it with some prompts. Now let's take a look at how this works behind the scenes. So behind the scenes in our metadata, we have a new type called lightning type. And if we take, for example, the fight response here, there is a schema which describes the type and this maps to our custom, um, to our custom apex type. You can see that it belongs to a flight agent class. The flight agent class is the class that is providing us with the action. And if you look again at the schema, there's a dollar and then the available flight, which maps to a subclass of the flight agent class. And that's the um, flight response here, the available flight with the list of flights, with the details of the flight. Now, that's the schema. Now, if you dig deeper in the custom lighting type, there's a subfolder here with a render. A render allows us to map our flight response custom lighting type to a custom lighting web component. So flight details here in the renderer is actually a custom lighting web component. So if I expand my lighting web components folder here, I can see the flight details, and this is all the cards with the flight information. Now there's also a same file here for filters called an editor. You can either have, or you can have both a renderer and both an editor for a custom lighting type. The other thing you need to know is that you also need to specify in the lighting web component, whether it's for input or for output, a target called agent force output or agent force input that maps to the lightning type as well. And that's it in a nutshell. This is how you can configure custom lightning types to map with custom lightning web components in agent conversations. 
And thanks for watching. I hope you've liked this video. Make sure to subscribe and to like it so that you can get notified when we release content like this.